And welcome to the PantherLair.com signing day special. And we're here with, you can see we've got the three whippy old D linemen, Elliot Donald, Dorian Ford, and Kai Johnson. Three uh, three guys from the whippy old, and I, and I said three whippy old D linemen, but Dorian, I, I guess I got to ask you first, where are you playing when you get to Pitt? Are you a defensive lineman? Are you an offensive lineman? What, what side of the ball are you playing on? Uh, I'm playing on the defense. Still like the duck around, say so I'm playing the offense. <laughs> Nakai and Elliot well, but equal block us in college, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, I'm playing defense. You're sticking on defense. All right. You, do you, is that your preference? You like defense a little better than offense? Yeah, definitely. I just played offense because they needed me there at the oh. moment. Have any of you guys ever played against each other in a game? No, me and Elliot were supposed to this year. Yeah, we were supposed and to, but what happened? The virus. Yeah. And right. I played. Yeah, they they, they 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 were scheduled to play, but um, they couldn't because of the virus, and they opted out. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So, I guess uh, this will be the first time you guys are actually on the field together once you uh, once you get to Pitt. I, I guess, you know, the interesting thing, I think, Nikai, you and I have talked about this, and I know even last year with Dayon talked about the whole sort of hometown heroes thing. I think, Elliot, I talked to you about it when you committed. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Dorian, I didn't get a chance to talk to you after you committed. How, how big a factor was that for you? I mean, that you know, was that something you thought about, the, the idea of hometown heroes staying home representing the hometown school? Uh, yeah, it definitely was, because, I mean, I've been watching Pitt for forever, since I was born, and that was always, like, a dream to stay home and play with the people around me, be able to have a big fan base over here, yeah, it's definitely a big, some big. Yeah. And Elliot, that, that weighed in for you, too? I mean, that was, uh, obviously, I think everybody always assumes, oh, you pick Pitt because you're your uncle, but... Um, how, how much was it more about you wanting to be in, in Pittsburgh, you know what I mean, and kind of representing Pittsburgh? Yeah, I just wanted to stay home. I feel like Coach Porches helped me a lot with that um, decision. You know, I had a lot of offers. I could have went to a, a whole bunch of different places, but it just came down to, to me wanting to stay home, and, and Coach Porches just I've been making it happen. We, mm -hmm. we in the cab, Dorian, we all had um, Zoom calls with him going over the, the playbooks and just different breaking down our film and everything and it just made it an easier decision. Yeah. Nikai, do you talk to, to Coach Partridge a lot? I mean what's your uh, yeah. connection with him like? Coach Partridge, that's my boy. I, I talk to him like all the like every week, like almost every week. And um yeah the connection between me and Coach Partridge has definitely grown. I definitely have a whole a whole bunch of trust in Coach Partridge that he's gonna uh do for me as he did for other um, defense alignment he had in the past and now because like all the he's had a lot of success with a lot of people and he has trained a lot of good guys and I just you know I have a lot of trust in him that he'll do the same for me. Mm -hmm. Dorian what about you you know when you watched Pitt this season I mean how, how much did you focus on their defensive line and, and what did you think of what you saw to those guys this year? Uh, that was mainly the main thing I watched was their D-line and about everything. And I feel like yeah, they're definitely they're like that. They're uh, Coach Porter, he gets them boys right. Mm -hmm. He definitely does. And this all just comes down to we need to take in what he's, te he's teaching us and coaching us. Really I'm, just, I, I, I'm just laughing because all I see is your ceiling fan. It's like, where, <laughs> where are you? There, there you are. Well, is there anybody you see, like, uh, like Dorian, when you watched their, their defensive line this year, was there anybody you saw or – uh, that, that you feel like you kind of play like? I mean, who who would you kind of compare yourself to on, on, on their line? Uh, I mean, there wasn't really nobody this year, but last year I'll say like a Jalen Twyman just because I'm a bigger dude, a little bit more agile. And I'll, I'll say him, but not really nobody this year. Sure. Pat Jones, he, that's for the – that's them. Don't you wait there. Them, yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Elliot? I mean, would you would you would you say Twyman as well, or who who do you feel like you kind of play like? Who would be the comparison you think for you? Um, I wouldn't say Twyman just because when I watch him, he, he like I feel like he's if anything he'd be closer to like my uncle, you know, with him doing his jump chop and everything like that. I really wouldn't do that. Um, if I had to compare myself, I just I mean I would I know I'm an inside guy, but I say um, Bibby or John or John. I call him Bibby. Does he look like little baby Rashad Weaver? <laughs> uh, I say I say with Rashad Weaver or Jones just because I seen them like you know they they're outside guys but they like to use use the length in their arms and long arms so 
I play on the inside, but I say I play like them a little bit. Yeah. Well, I guess too, like Twyman or Aaron. I mean, they're they're sort of smaller D tackles, right? And like mm-hmm. Dorian, you guys are like bigger guys. Do you, I mean do you? Yeah. You know, I mean, do you, do you? I mean, Dorian, do you kind of feel like you've got some of that pass rush stuff, or do you feel like you're you're kind of that that big guy in the middle who's going to take up a lot of space? And you know, uh, I feel like I'm gonna be a blockers. big guy in the middle who's gonna take up a lot of space, but I definitely can put on some pass rush moves. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And Nikai, what what about you, man? I mean, do you see one of the defensive ends at Pitt this year that that you feel like either you try to play like or you feel like you do play like? Yeah, I always talk to Coach Partridge, and he always told me, you know, my uh my body stature reminds him of uh, Patrick Jones said you know, we got a lot in common, like the word built. But then I know a lot of other people told me, like, who watch my film and see the way I play. They say I play like um he's kind of he's an older player, like back in the like the nineties. But they say I play like um. What's his name? He played alongside um, Hugh Green. He was the other defensive end for oh, Pitt. Oh, like, uh, Ricky Jackson? <laughs> yeah, Ricky Jackson. That's oh, okay. Him. Yeah, they who's, said I play a lot like him because of the dropping the uh, Who's dropping the Ricky Jackson references on you? That's got to be somebody who's a little bit older, right? Yeah, it's uh, my, like my coach and a, a couple older um, older Pitt fans. Uh, West Mifflin, they got a lot of Pitt fans out West Mifflin. And every time people come to the games, they always talk to me after the games like, yeah, you look like they are. They always say they never say Hugh. They always say Ricky Jackson, Ricky Jackson, because of the way that I, I guess the way I use my speed in the game. You know the way I come off the edge and speed rush. Mm-hmm. Now you know. I mean, obviously, there's there's definitely a lot of Pittsburgh Western PA guys on the roster right now, and I think you guys all know Dayon, who who went in last year. You know, as a freshman this year, who who on the roster like Elliot? Who on the roster talked to you a lot? I mean, was it Dayon or, or guys like Paris and Demar? I mean, <laughs> What what Western PA guys were there kind of trying to recruit you to come join them? You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I don't really think it was – they really didn't recruit me because it's like we always knew – like we just knew what the deal was. Like I was up there every summer, every off season, training up at Pitt with my own. So, you know, I always ran into Diddy. I always ran into Paris. I always ran into um, my old teammate, um, D. Green. And even before I committed, I told them, I was like, like I, I feel like I'm just coming here. So, like, it was always, like, they never really had to recruit me. We okay. was just, oh, my bad, my bad. We yeah. was just cool. Okay. What about you, Dorian? I mean, did you kind of feel that way, too? Did you always sort of feel like Pitt was, was going to be the spot for you? I mean, yeah. There was, I mean, there's a few people I talked to when I went on visits and stuff. Because my brother's cool with uh, Diddy and D. Ham and all them. He played on their 707 thing for uh, Evolve when he was in high school. So when I was up there, I had a couple of talks with all of them, like him, uh, at Diddy D. Ham. I talked to Twine the one time when we was at training. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, it definitely felt like a good decision. Right. Yeah, hey, and I guess Nikai, I mean, I know Dayon Hayes said he, he had talked to you quite a bit when he was getting recruited. You actually committed before him, I think. Um, yeah, but uh, is, you know, are you guys? You have a pretty good connection there with him. Yeah. Um. Actually, the day that I committed, um, the day that I well, I didn't vert like I didn't post it or anything, but I told the coaches I committed. Um, Dorian. I mean, um, not Dorian. Um, Dayon. Dayon. He was about to commit. Like, I'm pretty sure he committed like a couple of days before me, but we didn't do it. Like, we then the media didn't know about it. <laughs> so like, when I seen him commit, and he's like the things he was talking to me about, I'm like, wow, he committed. So I was like. You know, and I feel like I'm at home, and, like, I guess day on did have a pretty big part to play in it because it was just, like, the timing and, like, everything that was going on. And I was, like, really feeling pit at the time. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to just make the decision. And, I I mean, I'm not the type to, like, go back on my choice. But when I made the choice, I was like, you know, I'm going to just stick with it. Right. Now, how much – I mean, you guys – uh you know, Nikai, obviously, you've been committed the longest. Elliot, you've been committed since the summer. And, and Dorian, I think you committed a couple months ago. Uh, you know, how much did other schools still try and recruit you guys afterward? I mean, I think Nakai, you were still picking up offers even like last summer, I think this or this past yeah. summer, weren't you? Yeah, I just uh, picked up an offer from uh, LSU, but um, uh, there were a couple schools that were like still trying to talk to me, you know, still FaceTiming me, like um, Virginia Tech, Penn State, FaceTiming me while I was in school, you know, while I was on break and stuff. They was like, "Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, you got to come up here." Uh, well, at this time, like. It was, like, right before the virus. So, like, they were still trying to get me up there. They was like, yeah, you got to take a visit. You got to take your official down here. 
da, 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 I promise you, like, you could, uh, Penn State, they was, like, really arrogant and cocky. It was, like, if you come down here, I promise you, you're not going to want to go to Pitt and all this other stuff. Mm. I was, like, yeah. I, I just was, like, I wasn't really hearing it because my heart was still with Pitt. I was, like, yeah, I'm going to just be a – I know I'm going to Pitt. <laughs> Elliot, you kind of nodded there a little bit. I mean, was there – did you hear, like, negative stuff, like, after you committed? Were, were, were other <laughs> coaches trying to talk, like, negative stuff to you about Pitt? Uh, I mean, it wasn't even – it was before I committed, honestly, because <laughs> even before I committed, um, I was I did tell Coach Dudes and, and the coach I said that I was going there, but um, and then I just every every school I talked to, I talked to West Virginia, Penn State, they all be like, oh, I heard you're secretly committed, blah blah blah, like you know what I mean, and yeah, they definitely was talking about this stuff, but I was just I was holding off because I remember when I told them when I told. Coach and the coaching staff that I was going to be a pit. Coach Carlo was the first one I told because he's from Central. <laughs> Coach Carlo is my dude. Right. And um, that was like I think it was like the week of the Whippy World Championship game, or it was sometime around there. So I went and I committed, and then it was just like I just tried to get all my officials out the way before I posted it. Okay. But COVID, yeah, I mean, COVID messed that up. Right. Right. I got gotcha. you. What about you, Dorian? I mean, after you, you know, before you committed, were you hearing negative stuff of people trying to talk you out of Pitt? Or, and then after you committed, were schools still trying to, you know, the last couple of months, have they still been trying to reach out to you a lot? Yeah, right before, there was a lot of schools, like, trying to make a joke out of Pitt, laughing, like, because, per se, Penn State or something. When I go up there, they'll, like, joke around. And they'll laugh about, uh, like, you're thinking about going to Pitt over us. We go. Uh, they have no chance of going to national championship and all this and that. Facts. I mean, it just came out one air came out one through one air came out the other. It wasn't <laughs> really like nothing meaning to me. But then uh, who else? Michigan. When I was, I started, going, I was going to Michigan and stuff. They really didn't put pressure on me or anything. But they're definitely talking. They were trying to get Nakata to come up there with us one time. It was definitely right. But no, not really. Uh yeah, afterwards with a few schools trying still trying to talk to me. Mm-hmm. But then I'm just I mean, sometimes you just can't answer them, you know. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. All right, and the last thing I wanted to ask you guys and, and, and Dorian, I'll start with you. I mean, you know, I think people talk a lot about Pitt and the Whippeal and I mean you guys have seen since you've been in high school, there have been years when a lot of Whippeal guys leave the area. They don't, you know, might might not go to Pitt. Obviously they did well in the Whippeal this year with you guys and uh Stefan Hall at Central Valley, what what do you feel like, you know, how do you feel like Pitt is seen in the Whippeal? And, and, you know, Dorian, I mean, for you, what, what do you think is the key for Pitt to have another year like this where they get, a, you know, all these top guys from the Whippeal? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, I don't know what you mean. I mean, like, you know, do, do you feel like Pitt's building a little momentum in the Whippeal? Like, like, you know, because you saw a few years ago, you know, there was a year like uh, – 2017, you guys were probably, you know, eighth, ninth grade. But I mean, there's, you know, Lamont Wade and CJ Thorpe and Donovan Jeter. All these guys went to other, like Paris was the only guy locally who like went to, you mm-hmm. know, the only like top guy locally who went to Pitt. As there's been years like that where maybe Pitt didn't do as well in the Whitfield this year. You know, they got you guys and Stefan and, you know, pretty good, pretty good land, you know, pretty good score out of the Whitfield. I mean, you feel like there's, you know, some momentum for Pitt in the Whitfield? I mean, you know, I think. Yeah, I guys- definitely feel like. After they after what they see, like Diddy, how he came in from like a whip your school and he's doing what he's doing. I definitely think now nah, that's gonna that built up a little momentum and they kicked in with us. And then now with us coming there, I feel like it's definitely gonna inspire a lot more people. Cause we train with a lot of the whip your kids, a lot of the city kids, a lot of younger ones that are picking up offers. So I feel like a lot of them look up to us. It's like not even just players, but like our work work ethic when we're training and stuff. So I feel like a lot of them are gonna look up to us and come up, come to Pitt too. Yeah. What about you, Elliot? What do you think about that? I mean, you feel like there's, you know, it's kind of getting stronger, you know, in the local area in the Whippeal with, with some guys. Yeah, I feel like I feel like with um, us three, Dayon and Stefan, I feel like um, pick a, Pitt's doing a good job. I just feel like. If they could get in early on kids, like, you know, with the recruiting process and instead of them being their third or fourth offer after they get a couple big names, be their first offer, I feel like they could really take advantage of it. So, um, 
I mean, especially but with just us three, you know, in this class alone, like I feel like, like you said, a lot of younger, a lot of the younger kids is looking up to us. So, yeah, I feel like Pickett definitely could take advantage of this. Mm-hmm. Nikai, you feel like there's a little bit, kind of something built in there. Yeah, definitely, because like ba- all the Whippy kids, we're all like connected, like some way or other. Either we play each other or we train with each other. You know, we're all somehow connected, and like it's like every Whippy kid knows each other. So, like, just being able to have us in there to, like, you know, when I go in there, I'm going to make sure that, like, I tell them, like, you know, this kid's a baller. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to put people on from Pittsburgh. So, like, um, when we go in there, we can give them tips and stuff, how to, like, uh, how to, like, get a kid from, like, let's say it's a highly recruited kid and, like, tip them, like, how we can make them feel more at home so they commit to Pitt. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be a lot. And, um, yeah, so just making sure people don't go anywhere else but Pitt. Like okay. more hunts. Uh, then uh, each of you guys, and we'll start in Nakai and then Elliot and then Dorian. Give me one guy, Whippeal City League, you know, in, in any of these next couple of classes, 2022, 23, 24, one guy the Pitt fans should definitely keep an eye on, you know, a top target that you think Pitt's got a, a good chance with. Nakai, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> you said you know all these it, guys, right? So I'm putting yeah, you on the spot. It, you because it's a lot, because I can't really like, I can't really like pick out one person one specific person because I train with them and like they I know they're all ballers but like there's so many different things that go with like uh being a division one player because like schools some schools don't really look at like uh how good they play and all this other stuff like that really is a big factor but you know there's like size that goes into it and all this other stuff all right so, like, I, I I would have to think about it I just I just passed my decision I, I think all right N- N- Nikai passed on the question Ellie what about you you got you got a guy that's in one of these upcoming classes I mean Central has dudes in every class right so yeah you know, I was who, just about to say um, well there's a whole bunch of dudes on Central I can name but uh, <laughs> one I can name is JD Younger because I feel like he's he's a small he's a smaller dude and I feel like that's a disadvantage for him getting recruited but I feel like he could be one of the top kids in the state, if not the country. Like, just me watching him, like, I'm a defensive lineman. And I'm sitting here, watch, I watched this film for the first time, knowing how small and little he is and seeing how fast he is. I see him run up and, and just get these offensive linemen, throw them off of him and get make these big hits, make these big tackles. And I was just like, man, it's crazy. I feel like I feel like he's definitely somebody we should look out for. Um, he's just yeah, he was definitely – when we played against him this year, yeah, he definitely. Uh, yeah, he definitely made some little shake. He's just, he's, he's just uh, small. That's why yeah. they don't give him. He don't, don't, don't. He don't get enough looks because he's small. I told him like he just need more big plays. Like he, he was playing linebacker and had a couple of picks, but he, he need to play, or he need to be, he need to be in a position where he can get more picks, more big time plays. You know what I mean? If he get more yeah. picks, more pick sixes on his on his highlights, I feel like he could be one of the top kids in the country. Definitely. Even yeah, that, he like shows off at linebacker doing what he's doing too. Though that's a yeah. Good thing he's, about him. He's, he's not a corner. The bigger. Yeah. He's he's, he's definitely like he could physical. Go, fast. Yeah, he, could go, he could go play in one of them Under Armour games and keep up with them. Like I really not even just keep up with them. Go out there and dominate. Like I really feel like he's somebody we should look out for. He just right. small. That's his. That's his only only thing. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye out for him. Dor- Doreen, you got anybody? Uh, I mean, that's that. He's definitely, yeah. I'll I'll say him. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks so much for uh, taking some time tonight. Congratulations on signing and everything, and you know, looking ahead to your careers at Pitt. I guess Nakai, we'll see you in January once you get to Pitt, and then uh, Dorian and Elliot, we'll see you guys uh, in the spring. Have a good uh, rest of the semester. Enjoy the holidays, and thanks again for your time tonight. Uh,